Hello everybody, this is Tondi again for Molly Mine Embroidery Designs. I am going to bring to you today a mug rug design. The supplies you're going to need are two sheets of stabilizer, wash away, mesh version, put them in your hoop, hoop size of your choice. You will need one piece of batting if you want this quilted enough to cover the hoop and you will need various size scraps and colors enough for whichever design you choose to do. Today I will be doing the coffee mug rug. I want to remind everyone that when you get ready to do a design, pick the pick wherever you have your design downloaded to and open it. Mine, the actual design is inside the PES file for me and I want to make sure that I get to where my PDF is. Open your PDF, it's important, so that you see this. You are looking for this file, okay? This is where you will find all of your step-by-step, -step. okay? Any design you have, make sure that you are looking for that file. The second file that you should have downloaded is the tutorial file. And when you open that, it is this one that gives you your pictures of how to. This particular design, she included a general stitch and flip tutorial. It's not the exact design, but it helps so that you understand how to do stitch and flip. Once you have your PDF file opened with this for your design, and you can now see step by step what's going to happen with your machine and instructions there at the bottom. Once you have that opened and make sure your design is loaded on your machine, we'll get started with step one. Okay, I have the design loaded into my machine and we can see that the first step is the outline of the mug and I have my hoop in my machine. And the first thing I'm going to do is to place this stabilizer over the full place there, sorry, not stabilizer, batting. Place my, I'm gonna place my batting down and then I'm going to get my machine started. I'm using a dark brown thread so we can see what's happening. If you do not want batting or wadding, if you do not want to use that in your design, that is up to you. And you can always add it at the end. It's just easier for me to do it now. And then I will um, start adding my fabric right after I trim my batting down. At this point, this is stitched down and you're just gonna trim this batting away real close to the edge. So just work your way all the way around, cut around the outside and cut the inside of this handle out and then leave all this alone. Just trim your batting and then we'll go from there. If you choose to add your batting at the final stage, you would have to put it underneath. This is what it will look like once you're done trimming. For those of you who might want to know about adding it on at the final stage, I will show you that when we get there. All right, next step. You see the outline? We're gonna go over here to the hoop. It's this piece right here. We're gonna cover it completely. We are going to take the, the hoop off the machine and we are going to trim around the edges. That's 
what it should look like when you're done trimming. Next step is the little line. This is where we start our stitch and flip. So right here is the piece. So I want my fabric face down, lined up with the other raw edge of fabric. Okay, those two raw edges are lined up facing. Okay, notice how I made sure there was fabric extending on both sides of that line so that it's plenty of room. Now I'm just gonna flip this over and I'm going to smooth it down with my fingers, kind of press it. And then I am going to immediately go to my next step, which looks like this on the machine. It's just going to stitch an outline around there to tack the fabric down. And now we're going to take the hoop off of the machine and we are going to trim the outside edges around this. Now we're going to continue through the rest of the design and finish putting all of our fabrics in place the same as we did the first two steps. All right, and I will follow up after all my fabrics are on. I want to point out on this particular mug rug when you get to the handle, it's not stitch and flip. It's just a regular tack down the whole thing and then trim it. The same with the oval. It won't be a stitch and flip. It will be stitch it and then uh, trim it. And the same with the heart. It'll be more of a traditional applique. Get done with your handle. It should look like this. So don't forget to trim the inside. Now that all of our fabric is done, it will start with these decorative stitches and just go ahead and get all of your embroidery decorative stitches done. Okay, we're down to the step where it's ready to stitch just an outline of the mug, which is our backing fabric. So we want to place our backing fabric completely over, and you can secure that however you want to, but you wanna place it completely covering your design and put it back on the hoop. Now, if you want to add batting at the end of your design instead of at the beginning, you would simply put your batting down completely covering and then your fabric down and put it back on the machine and then you would trim all of it. So you can either add batting at the beginning like I did or at the end on the back, that is your option. The outline has stitched and now we will trim around the outside and be sure to trim inside your handle very carefully without cutting your stabilizer. The back all trimmed up and it is ready to go back in the hoop and do the final stitches, which are satin stitches. So guess what? Don't forget to make your bobbin thread match your top thread at this point or it's going to look a little bit funny. My handle outline is stitched. I'm gonna be stitching the mug outline in a different color so don't forget each time you switch to switch your bobbin thread to match. Here's the design all finished. And now I will take it out of the hoop and trim the excess stabilizer from the edge. And then I will take a little bit of water and dissolve what's left of it away. Here's the finished project. So when you have the little bit of stabilizer on it, just take a warm, wet cotton swab and, and run along the edges and it will dissolve that stabilizer and you have a mug rug.